Hey everybody, it's Grumpy Elite, and today I'm going to be showing you a little tutorial on how to do some color grading in Windows Movie Studio 13 Platinum. What Windows Movie Studio 13 Platinum is, uh, it's kind of like a downgraded version of Sony Vegas, but some of the effects and other stuff still apply to Windows, not, not Windows, Movie Studio 13. Now this software costs about, uh, I would say about $50 to $75, so it is something you want to get off your pocket if you don't want to just pay like $200 to $500 for Sony Vegas, I would start off with Movie Studio 13. You don't have to get the Platinum version, you can just get the regular version. So firstly, you're going to go to your clip in the timeline. You're going to go to Video Event Effects. You can then add these effects. Color balance, Color Temperature. Brightness and contrast, and black and white. Now, if it looks all black and white, just this arrow here, go to black and white, just put the nozzle all the way down to zero. Now, the first uh, effect we're going to get down to is color balance. What color balance is, is basically our base for color grading. You have your reds, which basically increases the uh, red color in your film. You get your green and you get your blue. So let's say I wanted to like change my scene to look like summer. I want it to look like a bright daylight summer afternoon scene. So let's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase my reds. Increase my green a little bit. I'm gonna decrease my blue. And as you can see it looks brighter, more warmer. We take it off, it looks like the regular reach colors, but if we put our fact back on, it looks like a summertime. Let's say we want it to look like a little bit more red, it looks like orange, more warmer kind of color. That's where color temperature comes in. Color temperature basically adds a bit more of a bluish kind of cooler kind of temperatures. It makes your uh, scene look like look cooler or warmer, you can basically change that. Changing it to the right makes it look cooler, changing it to the left makes it look warmer. So let's make it a little bit warmer, there we go. So we take that off, it looks like a regular color grading, put that on, it looks a bit warmer. Now we go to brightness and contrast. Brightness and contrast is uh, kind of self-explanatory. Brightness, basically you just increase the brightness of your video. Contrast makes it like, it makes your shadows appear makes them, your shadows appear more often, like, intensifies them. And the contrast center kind of does that to your contrast, it intensifies your contrast, adds a bit more to it. I'm going to decrease it a bit, we don't need that much. Right, just a little bit. There we go. Now, black and white. Black and white is basically like your color filter you use on your iPhone. Basically add like a black and white color filter. But in the Movie Studio 13 it adds a bit more to that. You can add like for like a quarter of the filter, or you can add 50% of the filter. You can add 75% of the filter, or you can add 100% of it. Or if you just want to get down here and just basically do it manually. Well, in my uh, color grading video, I showed like this little like cinematic uh, tone. If you want to add a bit of that, you just use like 25% or 50%. We're never gonna stick with 50%. So that right there we have our film. We have our film, it looks very cinematic, very dark overtone. But let's say we wanted to make it like more like a movie, we wanted to add like the bars down here. So how would you do that? What would you use is like a letterbox. Now there's different ways of do adding letterboxes in Movie Studio 13. But what I did is just I just went to Google and I Googled uh, transparent letterbox and so I got this, I downloaded it, and what you do you take this picture, you put it on top of your video. You don't put it on the bottom, because if you do, if you, put it up, if you put it on the bottom, it's not gonna overlay. Your video, main video, is gonna overlay your letterbox. So you wanna keep, if you wanna add a letterbox, you gotta keep it over your video. Extend it out to the uh, duration of your video, and you got a letterbox. But let's say that you think that letterbox is too big. Let's say you wanted to make it smaller, because it's cutting off the head of our spot. Go back up to Video FX. Hit cancel, go to pan and crop, 
Now, when you see all these boxes around your video, you want to decrease them down, get a little bit closer to make your letterbox seem a bit smaller. And there you go, you now have a small and down letterbox. So, that was my tutorial. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to teach you about in Movie Studio 13 or perhaps in Windows Movie Maker, and I'll be sure to make a video about it. This is Grumpy Elite. Sam.